for the last meeting. <coughs> I'll move to approve the minutes. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. All ayes. Minutes have been approved. Do we have any additions? Nothing. To the agenda? Need a motion to approve? I will move to approve the proposed agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. All aye. aye. The agenda has been approved. Supervisor's office for next meeting. Yes, we've, um, the auditors have, have contacted us again about having the adjusted entries for their accrual report. I'll let you talk to Jim for a second. Yes, our office. Hello? Well, haven't you been talking to Steve from Hopefully? That's what we're waiting for, yeah. Jim, this is Jack. Uh, Ham, are you busy right now? Uh, um, Rick Hunsinger from Region 12 was here on this hazardous uh, mitigation contract. Uh, did you want to be here for that? And okay, how long? Yeah, he's on the uh, agenda for 1015 and he's already here. Can you make it in? Yeah, Jim, the phone went completely dead. Okay, we'll hold off last, and wait for you. It would have been the last couple of weeks. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. And I'd have to double check. Uh, I, QB in room. Or he is in room right now. Okay. 
Maybe just a little bit. We can hear when we talk to him too, a little bit about the fire band. <laughs> the burning band. Do you want to see if Ken wants to trade places or do you think he has someone who's coming? It doesn't matter really what the contributors are. <clears throat> Why don't we take a brief recess until we get to it? We'll, we'll call the meeting back to order. And Rick. Yes, and with me is Karina Ward, who uh, is right now the our planner on working with the updates for the multi-jurisdictional plans. This is about um, the grant that you received from FEMA to update the plans in the county for the city and the nine municipalities, correct? Mm -hmm. And uh, this, the, the grant that you received was 22500 based upon the county providing $7,500 in income, which is all of the meeting time or anything else that, that people do to support the plan. Uh, in what I am seeking is the contract with the county so that it's official that Region 12 can start working on this plan. And uh, the, the contract is like others that you would have seen from us. It ties us to the FEMA contract. It has the contract clause requirements that the state tells us have to be in the contract. Those are all appended uh, to it. And then it has the end date of October 29, 2013, which coincides with the end date of your contract with FEMA. Uh, so there you have it. We're doing these for all six of well, the other five counties. So we we got grants for all six of the counties, and the other five we have a contract back from, and we're working on those. Jim, do you have any comment on this? You can slide the chair if you want. Well. <coughs> There was a discussion about this last time, and I don't know. It was the original price. Uh, it, was it seventy five hundred that the county was supposed to come come up with? Well, in kind, I think we asked for fifteen percent. You're correct that it was lower because when Karina caught yesterday on on a contract that I had written, I think I had grant dollars higher and a lower amount of in kind at forty five hundred. Yeah. But That's when it right. got awarded by the FEMA, FEMA they awarded it they 25%. Awarded it 25%. Which oh, apparently is what they did for all of our candidates. Mm -hmm. So, so we'll, we'll just have to make sure that we get enough time in the meetings, but I don't, we don't anticipate that being a problem. So no. that's your, uh, that was what I was going to ask. You don't anticipate that being a problem? Uh, no. So we don't have any out-of-pocket cash costs? No. It's all federal money and then I match. And initially, when we first had this discussion with your person, we we had a discussion with Jim, and we didn't really think that that we needed to do this. Well, then later we found out that we did uh, because they weren't, you know, we needed a, a more in, intense plan than than what more comprehensive, right? Is what. Yeah. But the other the other question I had is that we were under the impression this would be done by the end of next year. The original, the first representative that came in, gave us the impression that it would be done, and we would have a copy in 2012. Did FEMA change that too? The FEMA contract goes through. The FEMA contract was always a three-year contract. Right. Um, so I believe the date that they have was that October date. Um, right now, I can tell you, I started with Carroll County. We're starting through that process. We we hope to have. I mean, we're not. That is the absolute. End yes, I date. understand. So the the what we're planning on is to get all of these started in the next couple months. Okay. So we'll be working through the process. I can tell you that FEMA has been kind of slow in approving. <laughs> I had a, it took over a year for me to get Guthrie County's plan approved mm -hmm. by FEMA. Mm -hmm. So, but we do think that will be Guthrie County's old plan. Their old plan approved by yeah. FEMA. It took and a year. And we started working on their new one. Yes. So, however, I think um, we've had we kind of have a bit better relationship now with our state reviewers. So I think that process will hopefully speed up a little bit. So, and having the multi-jurisdictional is definitely going to speed things up because we will now have one for all of that county as opposed to in the past where we have one for each city and the county. Right. So, and the right. schools and the hospitals, everyone's involved in one plan. <coughs> so 
So oh, every five years, that's like, something to different than is it? Yeah. So it will, everyone will be covered by it, which means that if any disaster were to happen, everyone would be covered by that that plan and would be able to get FEMA funding. That's really the big impetus for doing this, is that as soon as your current plan expires, I'm not sure what the expiration date is on that, but... I think it's already expired. Okay. If anything happened right now, no one's eligible for FEMA funding. That's not true. For most, for certain programs, there are things that you cannot get money for with, without the plan in place. So. Such as? Because we had a disaster last April, and I had to submit a mitigation or update our mitigation mm -hmm. plan at that point. Was it your plan? It was mine as the emergency management coordinator. And so if that's updated, then, that's, then that might be what covers you. Yes, it is. Right. Because they don't look at your guys' plan. They always look at mine. Yeah, that's, uh, let me back up. The state requests a, a mitigation plan that a current one uh, within one year. So a few years prior, we had an ice storm. I had to update the mitigation plan, Part B and Part C. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it was over a year old, so we had a tornado that came through part of our county, and I had to update Part B and Part C again by the state that was approved by FEMA. So I think that's what covers us. Okay. Uh, it might be different for cities. I don't know how all of that works. So I just know FEMA has told us. Once once this is done, then hopefully he won't have to update like he's had to do in the past. Then he may still have to do those parts. And I know that this also leads to other projects like safe roads. Yep. And yes. Sirens and, right. And now, is that's a project that I've got where I'm trying to develop safe rooms in various areas of the county and there is federal funding for that but that program that you guys are doing would be the one that i would have to submit for that mm -hmm. and the one that we have now has expired so i can't even submit it right so that's an example of some of the fema funding that right. this needs to be updated in order to get that money and i know several of our several of our counties are in that same situation where they have projects they'd like to move forward but until they have this plan in right. hand, they can't do it. So we so. do know that there's a sense of urgency with these plans. Um, you know, like Karina said, we've started on the other five because we've got the contracts for those. And the person, uh, I don't remember who was in the room of the three of you, but we are down a person. We do have an offer out to somebody uh, happens to have experience uh, from another cog. They just want to move closer to home. And uh, they, at this point, are planning to start in the middle of December or so. Uh, I don't think everything is finalized, but we don't have any reason to believe that she won't come, and that will be one of her primary duties is working on all of these plans. Uh, and so there is not going to be a learning curve for her as far as process and working in writing plans and working with the public, maybe a wee bit of a learning curve um, on the theme of process, but uh, Karina has, uh, will be able to help her with that too. So. Uh, but we do know there's a sense of urgency with getting this done. Yeah, which is why we need to get the contract taken care of so we can start working on that and get you guys up to date. Because we don't want we want you to be able to apply for those funds. So I'll make a motion to approve the agreement or contract. I'll second the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay, all aye. Good. Well, the contract is reaching well when they have the money. Thank you, Jim. Okay. Yeah, thanks, um, yeah, thanks, Jim. Sorry. That's all right. No problem. problem. There's two copies to sign. If you want to do it now, that's fine. If you want to wait, you want to play or don't have fun. Hand delivery that way. I'll save the county 44 <laughs> cents. Thank you. Or 76 <laughs> cents if you know the flat or whatever that would be. Thank you very much, gentlemen. There's two. Yeah. So we'll get started on some of the background work, and then as soon as we have our new staff person in place, we'll be. I assume that's pretty uh, directly, you're pretty directly involved with local directors then, as far as trying to get to what? the same development. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the next step that we'll do, we'll send out um, the Union Blue County, one. County and every city and school to appoint representatives. So I'll send out a, a memo to everyone about that. Um, so we'll take those representatives and we'll get started with our committee to start working through the process. So you guys will be you'll be hearing from us soon to appoint some.
Sounds good. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, you too. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you uh, tomorrow morning. I won't see you tomorrow morning. Oh. Are you coming to? They want to sign checks early oh, okay. because of Thanksgiving. She wants yeah, to mail well, tomorrow. tomorrow right? Yeah, we're giving them out to people tomorrow. So. Yeah. yeah. So so I won't be here, though. I'm taking the day out. Okay, I'm happy around 10 o'clock. I have to make two pies, possibly. Two pies? Uh-huh. Three? Uh -huh. Three? That's why we're pumpkin following. pie for Thanksgiving, oh, and my niece's birthday is tomorrow. Don't forget the handy bowl on the counter. I had to go out and get it from Joanne the other day. Because you didn't like what I had there. You didn't have anything at the table. Right. There was anything? I think the mold is the biggest. The 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 big the well, I've got yeah. there is. Yeah. I just built it this morning. Oh, oh, could, then, without could you ask him for the morning? Yeah, he should have brought it. I did not want to bribe the county. If you'll remember, in the past, I have brought Christmas books. Yes, you did. I don't want cheap cherries anyhow, because we can only go up, what, $2? We can make inner go. We can split it up and win it. By the time when you buy the pie up, it would be all you want. It's on the yeah, you can buy the pie piece, buy one and a half. You'll have to tell me what kind you want on that. Sour cream raisin or apple yeah. or cherry or, you know. Or think about that. Or all of those. We'll take any of All of above. Yeah, we're, we're, is your dad in the hospital now? Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Thanks. Thanks. You guys have a good Thanksgiving. Thank you, gentlemen. I will be on in the morning. Two weeks ago, it was coming Friday, and he went to a still nursing home. Does that seem to be better? Yeah. He's still up Canada. Sure. Oh, you We are uh, we're looking at our contracts, our law enforcement contracts. always kind of been the understanding that we're not in that contract law enforcement to make money. It's just kind of always been kind of a break-even thing, help help these smaller communities out, help us out, uh, and so forth. Um, so we're sitting here looking at some things. Uh, we're just about, we're, we're falling in the red, so I'm going to be asking for an increase on contract towns this year. I kind of want some input and run some things past you folks to get your idea. Um, what we're looking at doing is asking for a three. Thank you. You betcha. Right. What I'm considering doing is asking our contract counts for three percent this year. We have never, since 2005 or 2004, when we started doing contracts, ever raised our prices. Um, it's time that we we do that. Uh, so to try to help out our communities as well, it's. How do we do this in a faction that's not going to bankrupt them, you know? Um, I was talking with uh, Chris Rodman, the administrator in Walt Lake, about their contract with the Lakeview Police. Um, Lakeview contracts were just over $30 or $40 an hour now. We're still at $38.55. They also built into their contract where they uh, for every hour above the 20 hours a week that they contract, it's $20 an hour. We don't have those built into our contracts, but sitting down with you and with the chief deputy, I think it's probably a pretty good idea that maybe we consider doing that. Uh, we've determined that in, currently in this budget year, our average salary is $21.06 an hour. Um, as an example, and I just, I just did earlier real quick, <coughs> In 2010, we gave them 77.84 hours of contract time that they were never billed for. Um, 2008, we gave them 56 hours of contract time they never billed for. They're not the exception. We do it to all of them. We've never billed above and beyond our contract hours. Uh, but I think it might be a good idea to help offset some of our costs if maybe we consider building that into the contracts. So where, where we're setting at now is, is I'm looking at asking for a 3% this year, a 3% next year, and maybe renegotiating our contracts to where we bill above X amount of hours rendered. You know, and, and I don't necessarily think that we have to bill for the first hour over or the second hour over, but um, 
with with the three percent increase right now, uh, we bring in one hundred twenty nine thousand uh, one hundred nineteen dollars. That funds two deputies. That covers their their salaries, FICA, IPERS, health insurance. Um, what was that number again? Uh, Twenty nine thousand one hundred nineteen. Hundred hundred twenty. I'm sorry. Yeah, hundred twenty nine thousand one hundred nineteen. With a three percent increase, that would bump that up to one hundred and thirty three thousand four hundred and ten. Uh, where we're running into problems, honestly, is the fuel costs. <clears throat> you know, the fuel costs have gone way up since we first started contracting, and that's kind of where we're running into the red. Um, this, and I guess I'm just throwing this out for conversation's sake and suggestions. Um, I want to meet with the cities, you know, the next month or even first part of uh, January 2012, so that they can have time to budget and review this and not blindsided. I, I, I just did the the three percent on on our per hour time, and that that calculates to thirty nine seventy with, with the first on a per hour basis. Right. I was going to up that to forty. Okay. And I I guess my initial my personal initial thought is is I hate to give them three two years in a row. I mean that's going to be pretty hard for them to absorb. Um, and yet, at the same time, you know, we we haven't done anything for six or seven. And, yeah. um, but I mean, I I think we all agree that we aren't in this to make money, and whatever our costs are, we need to recoup. And you know, um, but just doing the three percent the first time uh, would calculate thirty nine seventy uh, roughly an no. hour. Yeah. What what are your thoughts on trying to work in uh, the above and beyond rate? You know, I mean, we're we're really taking it taking a hit in fuel. But how do you um, how do you separate what we're <coughs> supposed to do by code uh, from your contract hours to your over the contract hours? I, I don't understand your question. Well, my you know my question is. We got five towns, five towns on contract. Yes. And four, like say for example, Lakeview and Sac. Mm -hmm. When you go to Lakeview, even though we're not under contract, we're in Lakeview providing service right. every month. At some point, yeah. And we don't build them for those hours. No. So, and we don't build them because then in turn, if we need help, there are people come out and help us. I see. It's kind of mutual aid. You know, same way with Shaler, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, we we yeah. don't bill Shaler when we go up to help their officer, and in return, they don't bill us when their officer comes out of the country and helps us, which happens from time to time. But people have been all right with that? I, 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 visited, I visited with a couple of, of uh, council members, and, and the, uh, they've just been really pleased with our, with our service. I mean, they yeah. really have. Um, the the concern is just like everybody is 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 paying for it. Uh, I mean that that'll be the well, you know, and that brings up the the other point that we were discussing downstairs is you know so you go and say we're going to ask for a three percent increase and they're like well we want to keep that rate the same we want to keep paying you fourteen thousand four hundred dollars a year we just want to cut back hours then well that doesn't cover our costs then and that's the other issue that may arise that we need, you know, I guess I need some guidance on how we're going to handle that. <laughs> you know, I mean... You know. Because, we, you know, we, we kind of have two officers to cover those duties and, and those yeah. contract duties and, yeah. and if it now or in the future doesn't cover the cost of those two officers, then... We're, right yeah. now with our contract with Odebolt, we're setting, we're setting fine with them. They're really not the issue. The other issue are the other four smaller ones, early Auburn, Litton, and Nemaha. You know, uh, Auburn, or Odebolt funds that 100%, you know, and then some. Where the other four, you know, that that's where we're starting to get in the red is with them. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know, we're just... Can I ask a question? Yeah. 
those hours above the contract hours are those requested hours from the cities or are they just you just there because you're going through or? we're just there because we're going through or we have a call you know after after we reached our hours we're still responding to calls we're just not billing them you know um, Odebolt is is 40 hours a week you know so we we're down there almost seven hours a day you know throughout the day and the night and then we do a 60 hours a month with early so we're there an hour a day or two hours a day yeah and then Auburn is is uh, 20 or 30 hours a month you know Lytton is with 25 and Emo House 2 but you know so we, so we try to break down out of our 10 hour shift we have about seven hours just dedicated strictly to contract time between the, between the two deputies that are working so, you know, I, I guess I'm kind of perplexed on how to handle this or where to go with it and how to make it amicable for everybody. What, what um, I mean, I, mean I, I think it will it will be easier for, and not, it's never easy, but the, the first three, you know, with not having any kind of increase for the, yeah, for the whole time, I, I think, I think most, most cities will will be able to yeah I mean but then if we propose doing another three next year that's why it's going to be to have six yeah. maybe we just step back and reevaluate it next year I mean that that's I, what I wonder you know I, 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 I guess, guess the thing you know, is social you know social security that's a three percent or three point two five is so you know seeing that we haven't adjusted it in all these years and, A lot of those cities, well, not all of them, but a lot of them have granted raises every year mm -hmm. for their employees. So yeah. we granted raises to the deputies too. There's been no compensation on the contract. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think by the old salary. You know, I could support you know asking for a three percent increase this year and then we'll see where we sit. The year from now. What What are your thoughts on building in that uh, above and beyond rate? Well, what about taking some extra time off that city say that you're going to spend seven hours in Oldie Boat, but today you spend nine hours because of some situation. Well, maybe tomorrow. We, we, do, we do try to adjust, but I, I think the thing you want to be very weary of is you don't want to be in December and all of a sudden we're 90 hours or 80 hours behind where we should be. You know, I mean, we, we struggle sometimes now with Oldie Boat where, you know, we'll get down the last couple of days and we've got to plant somebody down there for nine hours a day just, just I know I've already seen them lately there no we've been a lot of coverage even this morning well, yeah you know we'll quit it. so but well we'll uh <coughs> I, I guess I can I'd, I'd, I'd like to see you. my initial reaction right now is I I really don't want to have to do the overage but I, I mean I guess you need to have that discussion with them and, and say this is kind of what we're doing and and again refresh in everyone's mind that we're just wanting to cover costs and, yeah. um, you know, and, and I think that would help offset quickly the fuel costs I mean that's really that's what we're hurting is fuel costs you know we're, we're a little in the red with these four smaller ones but what we're in the red with, with the smaller ones the overall contract kind of, kind of makes up for that but it's the fuel cost that's hurting us well, and, and you have to you have to get there to start your time. Yeah, you know. It's well, and it's like we were talking downstairs. With the chief and I is, you know, whether we're stepping in this town or not, we're out moving around. <coughs> that that's the bottom line, you know. Um, so I'll. Uh, so my understanding then, you guys are okay with asking for for three percent this year and go from there. Okay. All right, we'll get working on that. Anything else? Thanks, Ken. Right. Well, like I said, I have noticed your deputies down there in Oldie Boat <coughs> quite often. I agree. They, they make a difference. Well, you know what helped, honestly, is we had half our fleet were pretty much unmarked cars. And now we're down to two unmarked cars. Everybody else is in a marked car. And I really think that makes a big difference. Oh, you know, I we were always there. About that. Yeah. yeah, we were always there. You just didn't necessarily know it was us. And uh, But yeah, the visibility's. It makes a lot of difference. It does.
other project is on M35 just south of Highway 20. Um, and that one is a twin.
two hundred thousand for the swing, maybe one hundred seventy-five for the single. I mean, um, it's not so important right now, but it's nice to see when when we see how it comes in in the letting versus what our and of course this is eighty percent the VR federal VR company. If you want to do that in, in separate yeah. functions, we probably should. Okay, but, but Which one do you have first, Jack? You got 61. Okay, I will move to uh, approve the bid lighting for uh, project 61. Is that 54? I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. All ayes. Motion stop. The next one will be 5 and 81. 62. Parent 62. That parent number is a number that just, no matter which, whether it's farm market or VR or whatever, it just doesn't need to be. I'll make a motion to approve the plans for 5F-81. I'll second that motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. All ayes. Motion carried. February 21st. This needs to be led at the DOT and E. <coughs> they basically have bed nutting every about five or six weeks throughout the year. I think Chris said we had to get these sent in in the next few days. And we will have to, we have to send a bit of estimate with that, so I might, might uh, give you a better idea what that number is. So the, what's what's your outlook on the competition right now? Are, are they looking for jobs or not? I, I think there's a lot of, you know, a lot of contractors looking for work. I mean, I, I wouldn't just be surprised to see four or five bidders in each one of them. Maybe, I can't remember the last one, but I think we had that many. Uh, I think, you know, there's contractors out there and with the, you know, not a lot of money out there, on the, at least in the county, to, you know, there's less projects, so there's working harder to get. So. Um, a couple things I forgot to put on the, the sheet there is uh, we did get uh, a letter from Ted Schulte saying he's going to retire at the end of the year. Well, I bet that was quick. I think it's December 31st. Is that a good That's been a good solid yep. employee for a long, long time. Uh, for a lot of years, so um, <coughs> we're probably like going to sit down and review that position and job description and get it up to date. Um, next week, um, we've got union negotiations in SAC, or in Calhoun, so I probably won't be here for the morning next week. If something that comes up that needs your attention, I'll try to have somebody else in the office run it up. I was expecting it at this point in time. Ron, are the, the greater out, are they running their normal weekly routes? Or, um, or are they pulling them off? Or? I think it's as dry as it's been. It, I mean, they're trying to blade some, but uh, if we get some moisture, we'd probably get them all back blade to try to roads and shape for winter, but we got a lot of loose material out there, we got a lot of road holes, but we can't seem to get cut out of there either. Yeah, they're really, really good bad. I mean, hopefully we get some rain or at least a wet snow that we don't have to push to melt on the road and try to get some of that material. If we can get some moisture and then warm back up, we can, you know, blade it and do some good. Uh, otherwise, at least the moisture to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it is just loose. 
Yeah, there's a lot of pop, a lot of loose material out there. What's the long-term forecast? I, I guess I hadn't looked at anything. I mean, the next week I don't think there's much rain in it yet. You know, the long-term I guess I haven't kind of looked. No, no big blizzards or ice storms. <laughs> Let's see, probably the December day of the Tuesday. Probably December 6th and 7th or five days soon. It's an engineer's conference and it seems like every year we go down there. Either struggle to get down or struggle to get back. Well, one yeah. of the nationals is in Des Moines too this year? Not this year, year from year from now. Year from is that one of the engineering uh, people? Yep. Yeah, the time on our field. Uh, I think they got that. I think they presented the proposal <coughs> to be in Iowa in uh, 13. In 13, I think they made that proposal two years ago. I think, I mean, they approved that far ahead to start getting things lined up. And, and, uh, they'll uh, they'll uh, start looking for support from vendors and uh, they'll do some gift bags and stuff. And I've already talked to Cookies and Nobles uh, uh, a little bit just to see what they had for products and what they might buy to use for, for gifts, and et cetera. But, yeah, it'll be a Last time it was nine was was in '95. So. Uh, did I tell you last week we we did uh, convert our radio to now, man? Yeah. yeah. We're doing that count here this morning. So. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second that one. Aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Tell me what's up to you.